Ik ben gewoon, uh, ik ben hier gewoon vol met allemaal spelen. En dan de storm in Greece, de Medicaid. After further inspection, I found some more, just small spots. This was quite a big one, but it's okay. This is not part of the hole. It's kind of a loose, loose part, so it doesn't matter. But there's quite a lot, and luckily, it's only on these bulbs, not in the, not in the hole. I have found none on the hole, luckily. I was too late with my camera. It came up quite a lot of water. Uh, you can see it here. And another one. So there's quite a lot of water in these bulbs. That's clear. I'm not gonna annoy you with showing uh, me uh, sending the whole boat. I just want to show you something. After a storm with the previous owner and then the storm in the in Greece, the Medicaid, we had quite some damage. Not too deep, but some sometimes a little bit into the polyester, into the the, the fiberglass, but sometimes just superficial. What I'm doing now with two component polyester putty, I'm filling up all the all the gaps, all the holes, make it smooth you can't see it i guess but this is already smooth this is polyester putty because i want to cover it with gel coat and polyester doesn't really hold on uh, epoxy so i wanted to do this with polyester but underneath here everything is uh, epoxy so when this is, is smooth we need to cover this with anti-fouling again do some painting of the waterline and then actually before that do the gel coat this was also damaged from the medicaid from that big storm in greece and the hull has lightly bumped into the into the key into the concrete and here was the air vent of the black water tank so this is the black water tank outlet and uh, here was the vent and the vent was just banged inside so that was a big hole i filled it up temporarily with uh, with neat epoxy so now i emptied uh, the hole and filled it up with polyester putty and then i make a new hole smaller again and put the air vent back the polyester putty that i used here i didn't use enough uh hardener so i needed to scrape this out and do it again i'm starting out with p40 and then i use p220 to do the smoothing work and then there's some old bumps on the front also from one of the previous owners that we really needed to address so i'm sending this down see if we have to fill it up this i already did this with uh, gel coat as you can see white it's wider than the original hull but it is what it is it's not a perfect boat, so it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be better than it was. And as perfect as possible, of course. And what do you think of it? As ik er niet bij ben, alles fout. Komt er dus gewoon echt helemaal niks aan terecht. Nee. Het komt in die. Het is wel een goed idee hoor. En dan kun je niet beter die andere stang in het midden doen voor zicht. Ja. Dat was een idee van hem, dat, ja. voor die overspanning. Maar uh, ja, ik ben, gewoon, uh, ik ben hier gewoon vol met aan het spelen. Continu zeggen we ja, maar als je, als je nou hier afmeet en daar afmeet, dit moet natuurlijk langer, want het is een andere hoek. Uh, dat soort dingen, dat, dat zit er gewoon niet in. Hij moet met mijn neus bovenop blijven zitten. Dat is ja. gewoon, uh, gewoon continu. One week later. En hoe is het met je project? Ze moesten één dwars liggen, moesten ze goed zetten. Die stond scheef. Dat hebben ze nu gedaan. Het dwars liggen aan de andere kant, die redelijk recht zat, hebben ze nu scheef gezet. Why, why, why?
I have removed these beams. They were for the davits to strengthen the stuff a little bit. This is, of course, like I said, it's totally stupid because there's no strength in it. But we're gonna remove them. And she's having fun over there. The other is still off the floor to the mic. Ik ga het bij niet op je voeten krijgen. Ja. Just done some small shopping. Man, it's hot. But it's nice over here. We love the atmosphere. It's just, I don't know. It's a harbor feeling, a men's world. There are some women here in the marine shop, for example. And it's just, a, I don't know, it's a nice atmosphere. People are friendly, helpful. Yesterday I was looking for uh, anodes for the sail drives, the sink uh, anodes. And uh, so I was asking here and there and everybody wanted to help me. I said, oh, you got, you got to go to that place. Uh, maybe they have, uh, but they, of, of course they didn't. There's a Yanmar dealer over here. The only thing that's left from it is the Yanmar nameplate over there, the red thing. But people just started calling and, and, and they know people who know people. So yesterday somebody, somebody was calling us from downstairs, we were in the boat. And he said, hey, I have those things. That's the prize and blah, blah. So today or tomorrow he's going to bring them for a good price, for a reasonable price. It was nice. A lot of work done over here. So everybody's working and making jokes. It feels so familiar. Oh, and there we have this party boat. I hate it. Gloria Gaynor, every single day, five times a day. So they bring in the tourists with the whole buses. You see them over there. Fill up a boat, fill up two boats actually, which are fake pirate ships. And then, uh, I don't know, they're just gonna party, whatever that may be. Very, very loud music. Here, another one. Tirol <laughs> Reise. Even that, they wouldn't get me in there. But hey, they love it, so that's okay. They always start the same song at the same time. And then, of course, always after that, this song. So if you want to book it, <laughs> don't call me! I got new work for you! We have a new problem. And that is the nut of the steering wheel has no thread anymore. Somebody decided to put too much tension on it, I guess. And it's gone because this is bronze and that is stainless steel. So this is softer material. Luckily, otherwise the shaft would have been uh, gone. But it is some, I don't know, maybe American, maybe English thread. I hate that. Can't find anything over here. So we need to come with a, another solution. It doesn't look that bad on video, but it is gone. The plan is this. I dremeled out the rest of the thread, made some little holes in there, not holes, but dents in there. And I tell you why. I'm planning to put some grease or maybe WD-40 on it and then make some steel epoxy, put it in here, in the into the th thread, shove this over it, leave it there till it's hard and then turn it off because the greasy stuff that I put in here will make that the epoxy won't hold on the on the thread. So we'll see if it works. If not, it's a shame. 
so this is special metal epoxy two component I hope this is strong enough should be let's make some more always mix it together very well I don't need much of this because it's just a very thin layer well, I hope I have enough of this stuff okay, let's see so now I have to wait till this is hard really hard before I screw it off Suitable for it should be ideal for strong repairs on metal objects which must withstand extreme conditions, forces, vibrations, seawater, heavy loads such as tool, tools, car parts, engines, motorbikes, metal, garden fence, and cutlery. So I guess that also must mean the threat of a stupid nut. Okay, le mouvement suprême. Let's see if this trick works. Probably not, but you never know. I'm putting the brake on the steering wheel in hopes. It will stay there. No. <laughs> you try. Yes, it's coming. It's coming. So it looks like it works. So you can see that there's a lot of uh, epoxy over here. But because I also uh, sprayed some WB40 on the tip, it's not uh, glued to it. The question is, how strong will the thread be? Ooh. As you can see, the thread is clean. There's no epoxy stuck in the thread. And here neither, you see? Beautiful thread. Thing is though, and this side was not enough epoxy, but just a little bit. And actually this not only serves to uh, keep the wheel on the shaft. Because the power that you put on the steering wheel is a radial force. So the radial force of the steering wheel will be transferred to this spline. And the steering wheel is also pressed on this conical part. So all the forces are here and not on the nuts. No, didn't work out. Didn't work, which is a shame. Ah. So, new try. What I did was spraying again everything with WD-40 so the epoxy wouldn't stick. Again, the two component steel epoxy. What I did now was use a little epoxy what still was in it with a little thread to screw it on and then uh, just leave it there for as long as possible. There's still a little wheel of course. So let's see if I can tighten the nut a little bit without destroying the thread. To be clear, this is just for getting back from here to the marina which is about three nautical miles or even less and after that I'll have to remove the, the nut to see if I can find a company here that can duplicate this nut because then I still have the epoxy thread in it I already heard from the owner of the boatyard that there is a company that can do such things so let's see so let's tighten it carefully At least that worked. A little more. Yes. A little more. It doesn't wiggle anymore. Yeah, a little bit. It feels strong. That did the job. 